it's you have to make unnecessary care capture one so what's the idea i want to say okay what's the color need different from has it yeah mm -hmm. so yeah capture one me you see uh, who continually and not their cleaning, not their clear has your mind and a high in IP. So Thank there's you. another a uh, year with capture one with my creating new layer. Now they are yet okay. correct. It's an animal in a okay, yeah. Until with this, I'll open the exposure a little. Contrast a little. Let me do highlights you now. Mm. Uh, white to make a cry. Let me be shadow to make a cry. Okay. I still have to retain like the dark skin. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. But some little adjustment we do. We'll do uh, yeah. Um, I really I don't use uh, common rule, so. Mm. Let's see. Okay, so look up a little to give it some a little contrast. Okay. So let's say before, after, after. before. After mm, you get okay. it, mm. Mm, then I go to open. So this is it. So me mostly, uh, I normally shoot straight out of camera. Like I want the picture to come out of the camera would be nice. Okay. Yeah. So that if I'm even giving to the client, without retouching it. The client will be okay with it. Okay. So always all unnecessary style that goes on around the environment. I don't want to take the picture and come back and say, oh, I might be here. I might be here for me, but I might be in the city. No. Well, what if the client doesn't want you to retouch or want you to edit? Okay. But I want to get the image at that very instant. Mm. Uh -huh. So that's what has helped me most of the times okay. to uh, get nice images before I retouch them. You retouch, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the final process I have made from the um, camera roll. Camera roll. Mm. Yeah. And anytime an image comes to the Photoshop like this, I mostly crop before I start anything I do. Okay. I crop for uh, the Instagram size. Mm. Hope you know the Instagram size. Uh, four by five. Four by five. Uh, yeah. So I mostly crop for the Instagram size. Hey, my boss is throwing pressure here. Okay. At Kizu. I said that. <laughs> so I crop. So this one you crop in the way you say a bit wow. Mm. So the cutting is here M1. So I have to bring it okay. up a little. Now. So that I give her a little room. Mm. So this is how I want it. Mostly when I'm treating, I I create some gaps because maybe I want tie shots like this. But Okay. I create I I shoot it very wide so that when I come I can crop it to but the side. Yeah. Because Nikon doesn't have that kind of 16, 19, or what what in the Canon cameras. Mm. So I mostly want to shoot wider so that when I'm cropping, I will get more room to crop in. Okay. Yeah. So that's how I do my things most of the times. So I crop it. So this is the crop image. So, um, the second thing I'll do is um, I'll have to remove my blemishes. Okay. Yeah, remove my blemishes. I'm trying to record this thing so that maybe when, I, when I'm done, I can send it to you. 
Okay, that's fine. Trying to record this thing. So I mostly um duplicate my image before I remove blemishes. Mm -hmm. The reason I do that is when you do it on the one image there, the background image there, and you want to um you, you had a mistake on the image. You have to delete the image. Mm -hmm. Maybe there are some images when you go to the, uh, when you do the undo, it has its limits. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I mostly uh, duplicate the image, then do the blemishes on, so that in case I make any mistake, I can delete that image and uh, okay. duplicate another one again. Yeah. So, okay. So now you crop it. So I crop it, you know. Mm, I crop it. Okay. So you duplicate your image. So you see how the pimples look like. Yeah. Pimples no dozen. So me mostly I use um a hey, where's my icons? Uh huh, I see. So me mostly I use um the spot healing brush. Okay. Yeah, I mostly use the spot healing brush to remove my pimples and stuff. So. I just clean them little by little. So you have to be very careful when taking blemishes. Okay. Though you can be fast, but it shouldn't create you, you can clean uh, a place then the place will look like it's bled mm. or a texture has been left there okay mm -hmm. so you have to be very careful as when you're doing the frequency equation it might have an effect on that an effect. Okay. Have you tried um retouch for me? No. There's a friend who said he that he uses that, that, but I mean I prefer to do it on myself for myself. Because mm. I took the image and I know how I want it to be like how you want it. Uh, mostly maybe like blemishes. blemishes. And the other ones I do with my own uncreated action. No. But I mean I I I I learned to become a retoucher. So, oh okay. When someone is doing something for me, I feel like it's not good for me. The way you want it, and... yeah, the way I want it. My boss showed me a way of he does his retouch. It was cool though, but later I stopped. No, not the way you want it. <laughs> yeah, later I stopped, and even. I taught him the way I do mine, and he, he preferred mine than he doing his. <laughs> because the way I do mine, you can smoothen the skin, but still maintain the textures. But there are some other things people do. They mm. do it, and, and um, there are some you would uh, the textures in the skin will be reduced okay and to the picture will look more of like a plastic mm. yeah and i don't like my pictures to be like that and because of the i because of the way i i does it, it uh i don't uh sharpen my image i have never sharpened my image before Okay. Yeah. Because. You see, one more. Uh, I have say. Uh. 
I mostly use close down to do it. Oh, okay. The thing, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. So I create a new layer. Okay. I uh, create a new layer. Then I click my mm. close down. Then my flow. My flow will be at 10. So that me and a member of pressure, I'm an IMO. Into you know. So, me sample say ya, me sample higher. Hmm. Uh, nam dia creamy. Um. Hmm. You see how it's cleaning? Yeah. Very easy. Into me ba has it as well. I'm a sample has it. What the name M four? What the name for? What the name for? Hey, on top has it. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Current and below. Yeah. Okay. And you have to you have to click this online. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, that one is clear. Yeah. So you clean the line so that it won't be very obvious for people to notice that mm. thing. Because the makeup artist specifically told me that I should clean that thing for her. Okay. These pictures, I've, I'm done with it. I'm done with them. Oh, okay. I just, and then how long does it take for you to deliver? I mean, a wedding. A wedding? Mm. Uh, full, a full package or what? Yeah, full package. It depends on the client. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I mostly give them their pictures for posting. Then, okay. um, then after that, I convert all the images. Then I send it to them for them to select for their okay. photo book. Oh, okay. So depending on the time they bring it, then um, I do. And almost select and what edit it? No, I edit and give it to them. Ah, okay, okay. Are you know, so not all this thing, like how how long? Let's say the posting is like the same day or the following day. Oh, you say uh, I give them a week, a week or two. Oh, okay. For the posting once now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. hey, in a half, me try for the wedding. Two days time. Um, what about me feel there for? Sure. Me feel try. Me have made. Oh, no. I've made. Any now me package me. Since before say you better agree on. Packaging it like quite uh, if you agree more trees, you have to read my terms and conditions before you do everything. Oh, okay, I think that is what we don't do here. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know, oh, but we can say, Have you read our terms and conditions? Terms and conditions, okay. If okay. you haven't, you have to go and read it before. And you have to have a catch and say, I didn't know, I didn't know. Uh, you have to read it. I'm even about to get some, some contract forms from my boss, from Atkizo. So if you book, oh, okay. you have to um sign. I think uh, uh, some time back, PDY sent me his phone. Hmm. Uh, but I don't know where I need it. Okay. How much am I reading? You're going to be closer to my certain for a while. Oh, okay. Hmm. Are you done with yours? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So you see this hair lies, hair flies. Mm -hmm. So okay. you, you can use the uh, uh, spot healing brush. Mm -hmm. Just draw a line. This one will go off. Oh, sh uh huh. Let me let me merge these two. Okay. I do these two. So this one. 
Go. This one, go. So the, the ones that are very obvious, you clean it away. Mm. So something like this is very obvious when it goes back. Okay. You clean it. This one, very obvious. I clean it away. So something you see when the picture is zoomed back, mm. you clean, like which it doesn't look good. You clean so, so something nice. like this. I can clean it. Something like this. Mm. I can clean it. So I have to create a new layer. Then go to uh, clone stamp. Okay. Clone stamp will clean it more easier than using the spot healing. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, so something like this. Now it's gone. No one would know something was there. Okay, okay. I want I want this thing to end so that we start the frequency situation. Okay. So when you go to the um the Wake up Academy. Okay. And open it. There are a lot of um shortcuts like a preset there. It's more of like a preset. Okay. You get it. Mm. More of like a, a preset. So here is a frequency pushing um icons. Okay. Yeah, pushing <clears throat> icons. So you have the via gas and blade, you have the custom, you have the via media, you have the digital texture. The only part I have used before is this is what I use uh, regularly. And this oh, is what okay. my boss was, I have been using. But sometimes I try, it works for me, then I move on. Sometimes I go back to what I've been doing. So I click. When you click on the via gas and blade, it gives you a pop-up like this, a gas and blade like this. To choose the via gas and blade. So what I do is I mostly reduce the radius to see most of the textures in it. Okay. When it is when it goes like this. And it blessed like this. It's hard for you to smooth it, for you to mm. smooth it well. Okay. But when you reduce it, to get some of the textures being seen, it will be smoothing and it still maintain the textures in it. Mm. Yeah. So I mostly reduce my radius most of the times. So that's a kind of use it depends on the image. I can even reduce it to 1.2, 0. Point something, depending on the how blurred the image how is. How blurred the image is. Okay. Because sometimes the image um you it's a full image, you want to do frequency pressure, but it was a little sharp. Mm. So when you're reducing it, you have to reduce to see the details, a little details in it before you can do the frequency, the frequency pressure. Okay. Yeah. So I click OK. So is that is that now 5.0? It is okay. <laughs> when I click OK, then it pops up this um for a uh, layers for me. Okay. So this is what I'm going to work on as the uh, for the frequency situation. You get it? Yeah. <clears throat> so 
I know that you do your frequency equation on your low frequency. Yes. Uh, yeah, is that so? Yeah, I do it on a low frequency. But I mean, I, I, that's my the correct thing does. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's the difference. Okay. So let me explain this. You see, most of the people say that um, there's, there are testers here. Mm. Get it? Because when yeah. I when I increase this one, people are suppressing posture copy, postures. Mm. But here they say it's color, colors and tones. And tones. But there are textures also here. Mm. You get it? Yeah. When you do the frequency pushing here on the low frequency. Okay. It's, it takes away the testers here and maintain only the testers in the frequency and the higher frequency. Okay. Yeah. So me, I want to maintain the lower frequency testers and the colors and everything, and also maintain the high frequency um testers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I does my frequency pressure on the correcting tones. So that I right. hear the test here and the test here. Here, yeah, on both sides. Yeah. So that's how, how, how come I does my on the correcting tones. So when I'm doing it, I mostly switch off the higher frequency. Okay. So that the picture will look blurry. Blurry, yeah. Yeah. So I go to my uh, Mr. Brush. Hey, what is this? Mr. Brush, yeah. So there's this um, thing that people normally say is that um, uh, uh, your weight has to be 20, your this has to be 15, your this has to be this, and this, this, and they give mm. all sort of ideas, and you go to a different place. Uh, and they give something else. Most one will be saying that uh, you have to do, the, you have to change your weight to, uh, 25. So you have to do your this thing like this. To me, the, the, what I know is what uh, whatever that helps you to make your image smooth, which you like, mm -hmm. you, you create you that, that for yourself. Okay. Because when I went to uh, my boss place, at his place, his wet was um was 20 as mine is 20 mm. but i have to reduce it to like eight okay because when i was smooth it was coming more like it was pretty smooth uh, yeah so i have to reduce it so that it helps me okay that's it uh -huh. so it depends on the type of machine you are using and how uh your photoshop is working with you at that very moment okay yeah so um the only thing that doesn't work here is the mist brush the, the mist brush doesn't do anything brush. the mist okay. the, the mist here doesn't do anything the, the only time this mist will work is when this brush is selected is selected okay so when it's not selected this doesn't work. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. So, but I mostly does every everything twenty so that it will be twenty 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 throughout. But that doesn't do anything there. Mm. So, some other people their own is hundred. Yes, I think I saw somewhere seventy five hundred yeah. ninety. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. So, but the 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 I think the wet the load and the flow yeah and those are affected. Yes, so depend on how much you want the image to be smoothing. Okay. Yeah. So this is the brush, and they are they are, My boss told me something that. Hey, you, you are telling me to uh, increase my brush 
but other people are also saying that I should reduce my brush. Reduce my brush. Mm -hmm. And when you reduce the brush, um, it doesn't make your like it makes you bring some uh you see here is uh let me see here is the highlights. Mm. You, you get it. Yeah, and here is the shadows. Mm -hmm. If you do it small, it will like you mistakenly yeah, like it will mistakenly like come into the shadows without okay. you know. Okay, but when you make it bigger, mm. you know that you are going this way with the whole side. When you come here, you're going affect... on the whole side. You get it? Yeah. When you do it small, it will take you a longer period to finish the whole image. Okay. You get it? So something yeah. like something like here. I won't do my brush like this and smoothing. Do it like this. Okay. Do it like this. Now nah, I will never do that. Hey, myself, you may. Uh -huh. I'll never do that. The only thing I'll do is I'll increase my brush. Okay. Mm. To the way I okay. want. Oh sh all right. Uh, what, what, uh -huh. So so you have to take this one to sample all sample. layers. Layer. Yeah, so I increase my brush. I I I smoothing. See how fast it has done. It. Yeah. Now I'm done with here. Okay, fifty percent done. So you see, I go in the, the same line, the way every color looks like. Look like. Mm. I don't just bring here into this because I see that here colors is different from here. Look different from that one, yeah. Yeah, so. See how I'm going it. So when yeah. I come here, I move it like this. All this side is smoothing. When I come here, highlight. Mm -hmm. I work in, in the highlight. Then I come to the shadows. I Imagine work inside the shadows. So I make sure I don't bring the highlight inside the shadows and the shadows the inside shadows. the highlight. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I work them separately. Separately. Yeah. Now, when I off, this is very funky. Is it? This is very fun. <laughs> See, <laughs> when I on it and I zoom in. Wow. Now, before, after. after. See, the, the testers are still there. I'm still it's there, yeah. Mm hmm. That is it. But that means you don't brush the nose. I will brush. I just did one part. Oh, okay. I just did one part. Okay. So the nose, you have to go it the way it looks like. So push all this. So I come here. I also want to zoom out a little. So the way it looks like come like this. You have to brush it the way the nose looks like. The nose looks like. Else you might make mistakes in it. So something like this. And I come here. So it makes you work more faster with a big brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's in the so, tablet? Yeah, I'm using a tablet. Oh, okay. So uh, how many pictures can you retouch in a day? Mm, maybe say 10, 20. 
10, 20. Okay. Me, I can rate that to like 30, 40. Wow. Yeah. I think this way is way faster. Yeah. Than how I go my way because my I make the brush smaller and then you have to go gradually, gradually. Gradually, gradually, gradually. Uh, so this one go like more faster. Faster. Easy. Uh, yeah. So I come the nose line here. Uh, I smooth in here too. I can't even suit in the lip. It won't affect anything. It won't affect anything. Wow. Sometimes I smoot in my lips. Okay. Then come to the eye here. Smoothing here. To get the image good. So, this is it. So, before, after. So, after. What we get it. Mm. So, I can off this one to then come to the chest line. The body. Mm. Then see how big this the 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 brush is. The brush, yeah. Let's see, I know what it Yeah. And when you're using the Wacom to, the pressure uh, also helps you to not do it that much. That much. Mm, okay. Uh, Wacom the man talk about right me. <laughs> oh, baby, I mean, when I watch, I watch videos of you using your tablet. Like, I'm finish that. Ah, it makes you do some stuff easily with, with easily, uh, uh, yeah. N N K T. As I was saying, the one coming here is seven eighty or so. Oh, okay. Me, I have the Wacom Wacom. The name Wacom. What Wacom into? I have some. Oh, okay. I bought mine twenty nineteen. Wow. I thought you should work on 2019. Okay. So, it's done. The skin is meeting. And you see how this image, like, it, it looks less contrast. But if it were contrast, to be yeah. from Capture One to here, you see how popped up the picture would be like. It would have been. Oh, okay. Yeah, because let me show you capture one. Yeah. You see how the skin and the whole thing looks like here? Mm. Can you see the capture one? Yeah, I'm watching it. Uh -huh. See how the skin is more pop up here? Mm. So if it were the capture one, I can even do like this, something like come to layers. No, let me background. You can like increase my exposure. And I can see uh, your capture one. You can't see it. I've already seen the Photoshop. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Oh, okay. It's not showing. Oh. Okay. Now I can see capture one. Oh, shit. Okay. So let me come to the picture one. So okay. can you can see it now. Yeah, I can see it now. Mm -hmm. So add some contrast. Come to the levels. Increase this. Then reduce this. Then come to my um highlights. Reduce my highlights a little. White a little. Increase my shadows a little. Um. So, like I said, here, this side, yeah, and come here, the plus button, come to my new empty adjustment layer. Okay. Then take my brush. Then I brush this side. So when I press M, it will show the hair I have 
brushed. Brushed. Okay. So this is it. When you reduce the flow a little. So this is where I have brushed. But also gray. <laughs> Okay, so something like this. Let's take like this is this is where I want to adjust the colors. So when I come to my caves, I can increase the reds up. Is the reds up? Come to me. I know, I, my color I, balance, mid tones. No special. No a class. Okay. That can mention maybe it's here. Okay. Yes, I could need this one. I mean, I could need this one. Suicide bombers won't, you know. Obey. Yeah. Sorry. So, Oh no problem, bro. So, so when you see this um before, before, after, before, oh, okay. after, okay. you see. So when I bring this one to the Photoshop, you see it, it is different from the one what we bought earlier. We bought earlier, because there's there's this kind of more of contrasting, so. See how this image looks like. Okay. Like how oh what's up? Let me cancel this. And mm -hmm. it's with mm -hmm. So this is it. You see how contrasty the picture look like? Yeah. Looking at this and this. And this one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the capture one like pops up your image more mm. than using the camera roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. So... We are done with the frequency separation. Can we continue? Or oh, yeah, yeah. yeah continue. We can continue. We can continue. Okay. So now I have to do my dodging and burning so that I will be able to correct this side. Okay. Okay. Correct this side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I run my dodging and bend caps, dodging and bending caps, this is what it gives me. Okay. So let me show you one trick. You see this this thing is hard for you to see though. You mm -hmm. see the colors here. Yeah. Is even from the colors here. Okay. But it had all oh, it has to be the same. Okay. It has to be the same. If your eyes is not very visible, you, you won't know the different colors. Mm. Yeah. It took me a very a very long time to get to understand those those things. So I will double click on my um okay. my visual. Uh, here, double click on this one. Okay. The case. Then I increase the top one here to make the picture look more contrasty. Okay. So that I can see where it is dark and where it is highlight. Where it's bright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's bright. So I open my dodge and bend. Then take my brush. The normal brush. 
Yeah, normal brass. Then I reduce my flow to one or two. So let me say like two. Okay. Two percent. Mm. Okay. So now when I take my brush, how to um identify where you see we have this correcting tones and we have the global dodging and burning. Correcting um okay. dodging and burning and global dodging and burning. So what you're going to do right now is the correcting dodging and burning. Correcting. Okay. Yes, you are correcting the image. Where there are mistakes, you are correcting them. Okay. Yeah. So when you check very well, you see here there's a dark, a shadow here. Yeah. And there's a shadow here. Okay. Yeah. So you correct them. So you make this place looks like this side. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you are correcting the image. So I will brush a dodge here. So that it will look like that place now is done before okay. after before after before okay. after you get it yeah then I brush this side too I'm not pressing it I'm not press uh, uh, um pressing it too hard um, just do it a little by little so when I come this side I have to brush this side too. Brush this side a little, this side to a little. Not that much. Okay. Yeah. It shouldn't be very obvious to see obvious. that I've uh... done that place. But I should work around there so if i off and on it you see the difference before mm, okay. after. after before after mm. so if i didn't go off and on you won't see that i have done anything see the difference in that yeah so if i come to the cheek here here is mostly highlighted not bent okay. so you move the shadows there and mostly you do more of dodging than doing the burning when it comes to correcting to uh, correcting a uh, dodging and burning so correcting all this side then the nose here you correct here too because there was a line here. Line there, yeah. Yeah. And here too, there's a separation between the bend here and the bend here. Mm. The highlight here is mostly added to this side. Okay. So you dodge this side, dodge this side to open that separation. Okay. Yeah. So it has opened the separation before, after, before, after. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Hope it's going on well with you there. Yeah. It is. So when you check, you check the, the chest here. You see here? Is it from okay. here? Here, is it from here? Mm. Yeah, so you clear that place too. So that it looks perfectly like mm. the other side. So, off and off. On, off, on. You clear the eye here. You like it look like shut down some shadow is there. So 
So I'm done with that side. Mm. So I have to delete the visual aid. This is said delete. Okay. okay, then we can delete it. So I'm deleting only the visual aid. The that visual aid. Then. He said, when we just dodge, we didn't, we didn't bend. Yeah, that's what pattern. I said. Most of the times we dodge. Okay. We dodge okay. in that correcting tones. Correcting, I okay. dodging and bending. All right. Yeah. So after I'm done, what I do is um, the main thing, the um, color grading. Okay. Yeah. So color grading dark skin are more easier than color grading uh, light skin. Uh, skin. Okay. Yeah. So let's say like a dark skin like this. The thing I can do is I come to my adjustment layer. Mm. Okay. I come to my black okay. and white. This is my black and white. Okay. Okay. Then I change my black and white to multiple. My dark skin is mid. Mm. Then I reduce the opacity. Opacity. Before, after. Okay. Wow. So after I'm done with this, I can create a layer um a, a levels. Level. Yeah. Then I increase my level. And I increase my uh shadows a little bit. Okay, let me reduce my opacity more here. So if I group them before, after, before, after, my dark skin is made. But when I grouped mine, it became darker. It became what? Dark. When I group the layer, I mean the black and white, and then the level, mm -hmm. it became dark. Then there's something wrong with your thing there. Share your screen, let me see. So after this, and this, I group when I group. Oh, wow, he said it was dark. Mm -hmm. The whole thing was right. black. Yeah, right, that's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back. So this is it. So after I'm done with this, I'll do my dodging and burning again. Okay, why? So I, I can open this. So why do we dodge and burn again? Because- uh, Is it because the, the, the grading has dropped from few things? Not necessary. You still have to okay. dodge and burn. But I mostly want to color grid before I dodge and bend. Ah, so I okay. go where I will work out some corrections. Mm. You get it. Okay. You see, now I can I can um I can bend this side, dodge this side mm. to pop up the image, dodge this side, dodge here, dodge here, okay. and pop up the image. Editor. Image mm. Yeah. So okay. when I press my dodging and burning curves, it will open the same thing for me again. But I will delete this one because I don't need it. You don't need it again. Yeah. So dodging and burning. Then I increase my flow to three. 
Okay. Yes, number one. I increase my flow to three. So I can increase my brush now. So I dodge here. Dodge here. I dodge here. I dodge here. Where you see the highlights, you dodge. Mm. I dodge here. Here. The chin. You can even dodge the hair. The hair. Oh, okay. What the highlights are showing. Yeah. How about the, the knee and chin? After this is done, mm. I, I have to go to um the I have to bend here too. This side. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dodge. Yeah, dodge. Then I take my bend. You see how the bend looks like here? It goes like this. Mm. It doesn't go like this. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So there's a key there called R. Uh, the, uh, the key R. When you press it, it will give you this um icon. Okay. Okay. So you can turn it like this. You can turn your image like this. Mm -hmm. Has it turned? Yeah, I've turned mine. Ah, so when you go back to the brush, increase your brush so you can brush your bend. Yeah, your your design like this. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then you go back again. Then you turn it to the other side. Then you bend here too. Then you press escape, it will it will be back. Okay. Yeah. So you have to bend this side too. The headline. The headline. Yeah. So after the headline, you come to the nose. Mm. You know, so it goes from here to here. You get it? The nose goes from here to here. Okay. And from okay. here to here. Mm. So you have to go down line. But not too much. Not too much. Yeah. So you can bend the shoulder line here. Bend this side, bend this side. So before, after. You can still reduce the opacity when you see it's more. Okay. So I mostly reduce my opacity. Opacity. Uh... Yeah. When I see it's more. You get it? Okay. Yeah. Then I whiten my eye. Then I'm done. So I'll go to the black and white. So black and white. When you zoom in, before it gets real white, when you zoom in, the red, you see the red, it takes away some blacks away from the eye. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the yellows do the same thing. No green, no blue. Magenta, let me see. Nothing. So then um I invert it. Okay. Control backspace. Okay. Then I put my capacity to 10. Uh, my flow rather. Flow. Yeah, okay. flow rather to 10. Then I clean I clean my eye. In my eye, then I'm done. Okay, so you use the same one for the teeth as well. 
you are the same one for the teeth. Okay. Now I'm done with my image. Okay.